grandfather from Surrey who survived three types of cancer is currently on a mission to cycle Japan has had his bike stolen in Russia. 63-year-old Patrick McIntosh from Smallfield set off from St. Catherine's Hospice in Crawley on the 3rd of May. He hopes to reach Tokyo in time for the start of the Rugby World Cup in September. The charity cyclist has cycled over 4,200 miles through the Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, Sweden and Finland and most of Russia. He's currently in Siberia where thieves took his bike. So far, Patrick has raised over £35,000 for charity. Our sports reporter, Juliet Parkin, has the story. Enjoy the ride, everybody. The long and undulating road on a journey described by this lone rider as both brilliant and gruelling. My God, it's going to be a hot day, but uh, here we are in a beautiful part of Russia. It lives up to its reputation for beauty. Since leaving Crawley in May, Patrick McIntosh has already cycled over 4,000 miles, but hit a major setback in the Irkutsk region of Siberia while taking shelter from a storm. When we woke up in the morning, the bikes had gone. And it must have been a remarkably uh, professional team because uh, they got through two padlocks and they broke the uh, lock on the back of the van in order to get the bike away. And they did it virtually silently. Police were called, but in a region where lives, homes and roads have been lost in recent days due to major flooding, perspective prevailed. So we had a pint of beer and then we found a bike shop and well, I've managed to get myself a new renegade light bike. I would like to make you aware of my friend Patrick McIntosh. Before he set off, Patrick received a special send-off from a day. What he's about to do is an extraordinary journey. Despite surviving bowel, prostate and skin cancer, he's cycling up to 100 miles a day and is even ahead of schedule. In most of the places we've been to, I don't think have ever seen a British uh, cyclist in their village. So that, that's one thing that's been quite extraordinary. Ultimately, the aim is to raise awareness of early diagnosis and to raise thousands of pounds for charity by reaching Tokyo in time for Patrick's other sporting passion, the Rugby World Cup. Juliet Parkin, BBC Southeast Today. Good luck for the rest of the journey, Patrick. Now.